In higher education, we've been having conversations in the workplace about going back to campus. Will we? Should we? Will we still work from home sometimes? Despite some of this resettling, questions about our work still feel fresh and unlike others we've had to navigate before. The pandemic highlighted some big needs in the workplace. How can we somehow sustain a more human and more flexible workplace? Most IT and technology leaders are happy with their current reporting structure, correlating positively with most measures of job satisfaction. Compared with leaders from larger institutions, leaders from smaller institutions are more likely to report having eliminated positions in key areas and taking on a higher average number of areas of responsibility. Just over a third of IT and technology leaders report being able to create new positions, while more than half report being able to successfully hire in existing positions and retain staff. Among leaders experiencing staffing issues at their institution, a majority report that those issues are negatively impacting their department or unit's work. These leaders are also more likely to experience burnout and to apply to other positions in the coming year. IT and technology leaders are generally satisfied with most aspects of their jobs, particularly with their peers and colleagues and workplace flexibility and autonomy. Leadership and communication are the two most important areas of competency in terms of both current proficiency and future career needs. Change management shows the most potential for future growth as a competency. This report aims to map the current contours of the higher education IT and technology leader workforce, understand its current challenges and opportunities, and reflect on what it all might mean for building a stronger workforce, and ultimately, a stronger higher education for the future.